guys, welcome to Off the 10th. My name is Chris, and today we're going back into the Garage Beer Wars. That's right, we're in the semifinals. Whoop, whoop. I don't even know what I did there. Uh, we are looking at two beers that have made it through the first round and into the semifinals. Winner of this one will go into the finals, obviously, and see which will be my Garage Beer for the winter. So up first is the Lakeport Pilsner. That's right, we're getting a Pilsner today. This one, uh, one up against, um, I'm not gonna tell you, I'm gonna link it above my head to the original round where this one went through and won. Uh, so we are looking at Lakeport Pilsner again. It's 473 milliliters. Uh, it's 5% alcohol by volume. And this is, like I said, a Pilsner. And it's going up against the Battle of Holland. That's right, we are getting Hollandia is our other semi-finalist this week or this week for this uh garage beers war season i guess um brewed in holland hollandia is a lager um it is coming in at five percent alcohols by volume as well uh but this one's in a 500 milliliter can so we got a bit a pilsner versus a lager so we're going to go right into grammar class because i can't even speak english but let's go Lakeport, pouring that one first. Let's see what we got. Can't remember, it was so long ago. Now oh, we got a dirty glass here. But anyway, it's pouring. All right, just got off work. Thought, shit, I better do a garage beer war before PJ gets home. So, <clears throat> there it is. Okay, so the Lakeport Pilsner poured off with about a finger of head on it. Uh, a little bit of darker lager on this one, but not really. It's just the, what it's coming off on camera. If when I hold it up to light, it's just a typical lager kind of uh, orange on there, uh, lighter orange. Smell, yeah, smells like a lager. It smells like a lager. It smells like a pilsner, I guess. Don't even know what I'm fucking drinking anymore. All right, so it's a, a pilsner that's poured off like a lager, I guess. Um, scent on this one. A little bit of earthiness, a little bit of a um, like a, a dirty water kind of smell to it, as well as a little bit of a sweetness coming from the nose. Cheers. Let's try the first semi-finals. I'm trying it like I haven't fucking had it before. Yeah, really sweet. Not super sweet, but for a Pilsner, it's a little bit sweeter. Yeah, and it just finishes. You're done. After your first sip, you get that little bit of sweetness, that little breadiness, little, as Joe would say, crackeriness or whatever. Yeah, this one has, I don't know, it's a typical Pilsner, but a macro Pilsner, so it's good. It's totally refreshing. Good effervescence on this one. Definitely a crusher. Yeah, by, yeah, it's definitely a crusher. Let's take a look at Hollandia before I totally butcher this garage beer war, which I already have. <clears throat> All right, Hollandia. All right, so this is the lager this time. I got the lager name right. Yeah, this one's pouring. Pretty good head on it. I'm trying to pour these the exact same way. So, all right, this one's a little bit more yellow. Then the Pilsner, the Lakeport Pilsner, looking more of a typical lager kind of look on it. Poured off with about three and a half fingers of head. Maybe, yeah, maybe three fingers. Two fingers. I got big fat fingers. Whatever. Don't make fun of me. Let's take a smell. Yeah, there's that little bit of a bitterness on this one, the Hollandia. I'm going to try to get through the head here. Here are the kids outside. He must be just coming home from school. This is going to be a tough choice. I'll tell you right now, right off the hop. This is a very tough choice to see which one's going to go into the finals. Okay, this is a lager that has a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of that that European kind of bitterness to it. But then it, I lose it. 
I lose it right after the sip, right? Mid, mid palate just turns into water and it's just, you know, it's, it's typical, right? But yeah, this is gonna be a tough choice. All right, let's go back into the Lake Port Pilsner for a second. I'm liking this one so far. Ooh, good effervescence on that one, just bringing up the burps. Hollandia. I enjoy the mouthfeel on the Hollandia better than the, the Lake Port Pilsner. It has a little bit, a little bit of a bigger body, I find. Mm hmm. Definitely. All right, who's the winner gonna be? I don't know, but I do have to make a choice and I already know who I'm gonna pick. If you guys think you knew who I was, who I was gonna pick before I tell you, leave it in the comment and let me know who you guys thought I was gonna pick. Or if you guys knew what I was, and, I, and if you're right, let me know. But I'm gonna pick, surprisingly, the Lakeport Pilsner on this one. This one is just drinking off nice and sweet. Got a good flavor in it and I, I you know, it dies out, sure, at the end, turns into a, like a watery kind of mess, but for some reason, I could crush these ones. And for that being said, that's the why. That's the why. That's why this beer has won the semifinals. The semifinals goes to Lakeport Pilsner. All right. It was a good match. That was a tough, that was a tough choice. I mean, they're both fantastic crushers and fantastic garage beers, but... Lakeport's going into the finals. I'm gonna sign it off right now. I'm low, I'm going. I gotta go to bed. I gotta take a nap. And then guys, if you like the video, click the like down but button down below. Fuck, I can't even talk. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll talk to you guys later. And uh yeah, got a little bit of announcement after probably the next garage beer wars. Not nothing big, just gonna probably stick to the garage beer thing. But spoiler alert. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace out. Bye-bye.